everyone Jill here welcome to my channel I am just getting ready to get ready and I thought it would be fun if you guys hung out with me for a bit while I get ready to record another wig chat so that's what I'm doing I am getting ready for that that I finally got around to painting this room I think I even have some paint on me still and you probably can hear the sort of audio reverberation because this room is now empty uh, and so I hope that having this microphone a bit closer to me will cut down on that a little bit I'm so sorry if it's annoying I'm huge with audio I've learned so much about it this year that um, this is going to make my eyes cross I think in editing when I hear how badly this audio may sound because I do not have this even remotely soundproofed at all so so sorry about that so i first i've got my skin ready to go and i'm going to be using the true skin a liquid foundation i'm mixing two colors i mix the 020 with the 007 so i i basically just do that and this then. little palette thing i am loving and it's really inexpensive go in with my currently favorite concealer I have a few on my list that I want to check out I'm always always looking for a great concealer for us mature people you know, we deal with a lot more than the younger crowd our criteria is quite different for the moment though I am loving as you know by Too Faced the Born This Way sculpting concealer while it gives great coverage I find it not drying not cakey so it is what i tend to use most of the time and sometimes you know i'll kind of brighten things up here and there with it as well I'm going to do because I, I feel like I need an extra bit of brightness. The Mineral Fusion Concealer, while it doesn't give me good coverage, I do absolutely adore the finish on this. And I've noticed that it really does brighten things up, but I need to go in first with like the one I just used, the Too Faced, to give me sort of that coverage first. And then I can go in and get a little extra bit of really pretty this finish on this concealer is amazing. So if you don't necessarily need good coverage, you might want to try this concealer because it is gorgeous. Oh, we're going to have planes now flying and everything. Gosh. As you know, I am really into the creams, the cream blushes, the cream contouring. So I'm going to jump right into my Patrick Ta palette here and jump into this side, which is the creamy contour. here with this as well. Cream blush wise, I have found this one here to be my absolute favorite thus far. This is a mineral fusion, sort of a multi-use stick. You can use this on your lips as well, and I have, and it's gorgeous. There's something about this color that just works with just about every sort of look color vibe that i'm going for this. 
it's just absolutely beautiful. There's just the slightest bit of gold in there and it is my favorite. I have found, because I also do love the e.l.f. multitasking sticks as well, they don't wear as nicely and they don't blend as nicely as this one does. This one is more expensive than the e.l.f., darn it. I wish I didn't come to that conclusion, but I tend now to grab this more than any of the other ones I'm experimenting with so far. And I like putting it on with either this or even a sort of an angled brush. I start with the apples of my cheeks and I bring it up a little bit through here and then I kind of blend it backwards. I don't necessarily bring it back all the way, but look at that finish. Can you, oh, it's just gorgeous. It really is pretty. And like I said, that the color just seems to just be what I need it to be. It has been quite a wonderful find. All right, so now I do feel like I need to at least set the concealer area as well as kind of set the bronzer, kind of set the blush without using powder finisher, you know, all over my face, kind of a, a translucent setting powder. I, I'm lately kind of trying to avoid that just because I love the way my skin looks when I use these creams. So I go in lightly here and there very specifically, and then I sort of set the bronzer with sort of more of a powder bronzer. I know it's crazy, but but it does definitely make a difference when I do things this way. I was so bummed. I actually dropped this when I was moving things out of here to paint and it just broke all over the floor, it even broke my lid here, but there's still quite a lot of product left and I love this blush. It is beautiful again. It has sort of this really iridescent gold to it. Beautiful. And this is, this is Cheek Lover by Catrice. This is an oil infused blush. It's the only color they have. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna touch this and then I'm gonna touch it down here on my towel or napkin, whatever you have handy there. And then I am gonna just kind of lightly press this right over the top of that cream blush and I find this works so well as a topper you know to the cream blushes that I use and if you go a little too heavy with it I just like to kind of press it in then and blur blur it out a little nice so now I'm going to stick with the whole Catrice thing and we have here a bronzer from them and it is called Sun Lover and I'm going to take, what am I going to take? I'm going to take something like this and just kind of pat it all around, knock it off. And I'm even going to pat it on my towel here. And then I'm just going to kind of take it right over kind of where we contoured and then I'll kind of whoosh it around a little. So before I really reach for a highlighter, I'm going to go back into the Patrick Ta palette and go for this really pretty warm, sunny kind of powder color they have in here. I'm going to load again kind of a more of a floofy brush and I'm going to take that right here. And I'm even going to kind of take it up here as well. It's just that little something something. I'm all about that. Now I'm going to go into my favorite highlighter right now. It's the Buxom White Rush and Wonderlust. It's just this perfect color. It's not too white. And I'm going to put it right on the tops of my cheekbones right about here.
Okay, for setting the concealer, because if I don't do that, even just recording, it's going to be all under my eyes. It's just going to be a mess. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way translucent setting powder. And I'm going to press it right where I want it. I'm going to try not to bring it down too far. Just kind of right, right in here. And then what I have left on here, I'm going to kind of pat in in the places that I need a little bit of setting, you know? I'm going to be using my Soft Glam Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia? palette today all right just now I did a wash with this color here and now I think I'm gonna start sort of contouring this look with what am I feeling I think I'm going to go in with this one here, one here, and I'm going to tap it in first. As you know, I kind of like to do that. So this color does come off a bit orange for me, but it's kind of my background warmth in this look so it does get covered up a little bit but that background is there it does do its purpose i'm not bringing it completely up to my brow bone right up under here i'm leaving that alone it looks like i might be but i'm not bringing it up quite that far I'm going to go into this gorgeous, almost okra color here. And I think I'm going to go into this color right here. I'm going to go in with my ring finger and put that kind of on my mobile lid, the center. And maybe even, yeah, I think I'll just keep it right here in the center. This is a Bare Essentials brush just anything that you can pack with and I think I'm going to go in way over here is it weird not having a black background I know some of you are going to go, I, I actually really liked your black background. I mean, there's things about it that, that I do like. It completely just allows you to focus on me, <laughs> you know, but I like the softness of what's going on today. We'll see. We'll see. I, I... And I'm going to go under the eyes with that. And I really want this to be kind of smoky, so we'll see. I think I'm gonna go into the Buxom Wonderless, the white Russian highlighter that I love. So I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm going to kick it in right in there and I'm going to put this right here in the corner don't want it quite right there that's where the crepiness gets a little much okay before I put on mascara 
I'm going to go ahead and set all of this and I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Essence of Healthy. This is sort of a toner. It's not drying at all. It has a smell to it. All of Physician's Formula stuff does. It's a little bit odd, but it's not bad. I just love how it sets my makeup and it gives a really pretty kind of gentle, subtle, dewy look. And I also like how, you know, after I set under my eyes, if it's looking a little too powdery under there, accentuating those fine lines and creepiness, this gently kind of deals with that for me, which is very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up and do this. You can always take the clean side of one of these and lightly press in if you want. You can do that. I think I'm just going to take the same bronzer here and I'm going to accentu accentuate my lips a bit, make them look a little fuller, a little, little fuller, a little fuller, fuller. I'm going to dip into the bronzer. I'm going to go and not touch the light part. I'm just going to do the, um, the bronzy part. And you've seen me do this now, I'm sure. So what we're doing right now is we are contouring the lips, okay? It's, it's like you're overdrawing, but it's doing something completely different. It, you're, you're actually creating a shadow just like you're contouring a cheekbone or something like that. All right. It's the littlest things that make the biggest impact. Makeup is so, so why am I leaning in so much? Makeup is incredibly powerful because you're playing with light and that is powerful when you, when you contour and you, you kind of get how the light plays with certain parts of your face, what you want to accentuate, what you want to diminish, what you want to bring out, what you want to have sink in. And once you kind of get that, then all the fun begins and those little tiny things are just big, big magical differences. It's so much fun. So I'm not going to swatch these in this video. I am going to do a separate video and, and really show you guys these and swatch them. These are Honest Beauty tinted lip balms and they are fabulous. I have this one in my bathroom, which is the just the clear. And I put it on after I do my double cleanse and get ready to go to bed in the evening, whatever. And this is, you know, what I put on to moisturize my lips. And then if I'm not going to bed right away, I will put it on one more time when I do go to bed. And I'm just loving. So this has no color, this particular one. But these ones, and there are others, but these are the ones that I have. Because I think there's a couple more of that that are in this line. So what's beautiful about these is that it really is just the hint. It's a hint of color and it is beautiful. It's just enough color. And I've been really into this because mask wearing, you know, is a thing, but I don't want to, when I'm not wearing a mask, when I'm driving my car or whatever, I want something on my lips. And yet I don't want to go full on lipstick because when I take my mask off, you know, it, it's just a serial killer kind of look, you know? So I love that I can just put these on. It makes my lips feel soft while it's on and, and I know it's conditioning my lips, but it gives me just a little bit of color too. So look at this. This is just an example of what I mean by just the sheer bit of color. So you can just see sort of that really beautiful look that you get with these. And then I take this one off. I just wanted to show you how sheer it is because I bet, you know, I'm sure that it looked like it was gonna come off really, really dark. You can layer these, I'm sure, over the top of a lipstick. I might do that. Oh, wow. 
That's so pretty. Just the kiss of, of color, you know? It's really pretty. Anyway, um, I'm enjoying these tremendously. They weren't too awful expensive. I think they're around $8 a piece so my goodness that is not bad at all for this video i will probably put on a lipstick right, well before i forget i'm going to curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on i'm going to use the physician's formula curve something this really doesn't flake it takes a while to build that's the only downside to this whereas i really do like the l'oreal um pump up the volume what what is that one called i don't think that's what it's called um, air volume that's what it's called um, is there a mascara called pump up your volume because if there isn't there needs to be it, it builds much faster than this but it also flakes a little bit not a lot but I didn't realize how much it did. Until I tried this and I'm like, wow, this isn't even doing it at all. So maybe it will when it gets older, that's possible. But right now it isn't. So I take my time and I, I do build, at least you can build with it. Do I wanna go that corally? Normally I don't do coral. Let's go for it. Okay. Ooh. I'm not sure what my thoughts are on this. I love this lip gloss. Just recently purchased this. This is a Physician's Formula plumper one. It's clear, but I've used it over the top of lipstick, so the doe foot doesn't look clear anymore. But I love this applicator. This doe foot on here is just, I love it. I think I'm gonna go back into the oil infused blush here by Catrice. I wouldn't add more if I were going out in the real world right now, but I know for filming, I'm gonna need a little bit more, especially when I get my wig on, it's all gonna come together. It will. Now, I'm gonna take my Blendiful. This is by Tati Beauty. I have talked about this on a couple, in a couple of videos already, but I'm gonna just kind of go over. I just don't want any lines of anything anywhere. Okay, uh, we're finished with this look. I need to now record my wig chat. And what I have on my head right now is a Raquel Welch wig. It's called Editor's Pick Elite. And the Elite just means that it's a 100% hand tied cap and it is in the color Shaded Biscuit. All right, so if you're interested in uh, helper hair, be on the lookout for my next wig chat. Thanks for hanging out once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.